na hiyo hii huyo brother huyo shetani alikuwa ana, anafunga kila siku na kumweka kwa gunia iliyo jazi afu na kumshonelea na huzi wa chuma hata si wakamba after date those demons have never been bound why because this brother was using the wrong formula the first weapons to prevent the bound the boundaries of our health of our destinies is repentance praise the name of the lord the bible says whosoever that hides and pretends and don't repent their sins they shall never prosper but whosoever repenteth shall find grace and favor before god so repentance is the first weapon number two, confession confession ama kukili confession ku confess ama kutamuka kunena kuwa mtu ambaye kinywa chake kimetakazwa kimenjazwa na usemi Mungu ni Mungu wa utterance kila muteule lazima atamani kupokea kutoka kwa Mungu the power of utterance you must control your tongue you must control your mouth so that the things that flow from your mouth will bring life to your life to your soul according to proverbs 18 verse 21 the bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue death and life is in the power of the tongue proverbs 18 21 Life and death is in the power of your tongue. Kivo na uzima kimebebwa na ulimi wako. Yale mambo unayoyatamka yatakupatia afya njema. Yatakupatia afya ya mwili wako. Yatakupatia afya ya hatima yako. Maneno ya kinywa chako inaweza leta uzima ama ilete maafa maisha ni mwako. Kuna kitu unaweza tamuka uka ukapeana uka permission ya destruction sile vitu unanena kwa kinywa chako kina permit demons ama angels wa Mungu ukinena vitu za kinyume huwa una authorize mapepo for destruction when you speak the words full of life the words full of faith the words full of god inapatia malaika responsibility ya kuimplement kile umetamka. Kwa nini? Biblia imetuambia ya kwamba uzima na kifo siko katika uweza wa ulimi na yule haupendaye ataukulia, atakula mazao yake. Kwa hivyo kutoka sasa kataa kutamuka vitu hazina uzima maana usemi wako unajalisha sana. Usisoe kusungumusa mambo ya kushindwa. Una kusema he Philips tunaendelea sasa. Naona sasa hii ni mwisho wa dunia. Mahali tumefika. Tukifikisha 2021 ni bahati. Mimi vile ninaona sasa. Vile ninaona sasa. Mimi naona ni kama mwisho wa dunia wangu umefika. Mwisho wa dunia uko na shida gani? Una shughuli gani wewe na mwisho wa dunia? Ulijileta? Kazi yako ni kujipanga. Kama ni mwisho wa dunia, chukua kitambulisho. Lipa tikiti, okoka. Kama maisha matakatifu, gojea Yesu. Kaa kama mtu aliye tayari. Lakini usisungumuze maneno ya kuharibu future yako, ya kuharibu maisha yako. Hapana. Sungumuza mambo makubwa. Sungumuza imani sungumuza uwezo sungumuza ushindi ongea kama Daudi Daudi anasema mimi sitakufa nitaishi nitangaze ukuu wa Mungu Sahi, uh, katika Psalms 118 verse 17 anasema sitakufa nitaishi nitangaze ukuu wa Bwana saa hiyo anawindwa saa hiyo analala kwa mapango saa hiyo Daudi ana mahali pa kulala. Saa hiyo anafanya anafanya 
anafanya ku, 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 kutoroshwa kupitia kwa dirisha anatafutwa na Sauli Sauli anataka kumuua anaponea chupu chupu siku ingine anataka kumgonga pamoja kumgonga na mkuki kwa ukuta amuue lakini Daudi yeye anasema mimi sitakufa nitaishi nitangaze ukuu wa Bwana siku nyingine anampata Sauli amelala anamkata tu kipande na anamuita akiwa mbali anamwambia hii angalia nguo yako nimekata lakini siku kuua ili ili ajue ya kwamba ili Sauli ajue ya kwamba maisha ya David iko katika mikono ya Mungu na hata Mungu akimpatia amumalize hawezi akammaliza maana Daudi anasema ya kwamba hata 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 nyosha mkono wake amuchinje mpako wa mafuta na sasa hiyo ni andui ambaye anataka kumuua sababu moja ilifanya Daudi asiwe na hofu na shaka katika maisha yake ni kumjua Mungu Daudi alimjua Mungu na kwa sababu ya kumjua Mungu hakuhofia chochote katika maisha yake maana alijua ya kwamba mtetezi wake yuaishi mtetezi wake ni Mungu jina la Bwana libarikiwe so weapon number two ni the ni confessions the things you speak the things you 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 you, you allow to come out of your mouth weapon number three prayer James chapter 5 verse 15 Biblia inasema hivi and the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the lord shall raise him up and if he have committed sins they shall be forgiven praise the name of the living god weapon number three. it is prayer maandiko inasema ya kwamba mahombi ya mtu aliye na imani itaponya mgonjo na Bwana atamuinua hata kama amefanya dhambi gani hata kama amehukumiwa na nini mahombi yenye imani itaponya mgonjo jina la Bwana libarikiwe mahombi huwa ina ina ina, ina, ina ponya. mahombi inaleta hafia mahombi inaleta inatetea mipaka ya afya yako mahombi inatetea mipaka ya afya yako wakati wowote ukiomba bwana hatakusaidia bwana atakuponya bwana hatakutunza na magonjwa kwa hivyo wakati wowote and especially wakati huu ambao ujui ni nani una, 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 nani umekutana na yeye ujui ni nani mmeingia gari moja na yeye ujui ni nani mmekutana kwa kamiti kandogo na yeye ujui ni nani mmepitana kwa barabara ujui ni nani ameshika hiyo mlango ulikuwa umeshika ujui ni nani ameketi hapo ulikuwa umeketi na ameshika shika fiti wakati huu ambao ni wa maunguzi ni wa mangonjwa ya corona virus kila mtu ana hofu na anawoga let me tell you silaha moja ambayo itakusaidia ni maombi maana bili nasema ya kwamba maombi ya mwenye imani maombi ya mwenye yaki itamkomboa mgonjwa na itamuinua hata kama amefanya dhambi gani jina la bwana libarikiwe this season make prayer your lifestyle make prayer your custom and not only this time but all the days of your life in jesus mighty name the fourth weapon ni confidence against fear confidence ama ujasiri itakusaidia na ikuwezeshe katika jina la Yesu Kristo kama kuna kitu kitakusaidia ni confidence ujasiri kukosa kuwa na woga kushinda woga ni njia moja ni silaha moja nataka nisome maandiko na wewe nikimalizia Isaiah chapter 
8 verse 12. Biblia inasema hivi. Musiseme ni fitina katika habari za mambo yote ambayo watu hawa watasema. Ni fitina musiofu kwa hofu yao wala musiongope. Nita, nitarudia musiofu kwa hofu yao wala musiongope. Msari wa 13. Bwana wa majeshi ndiye mtakaye mtangaza na hawe yeye ovu yenu na hawe yeye utisho wenu musiongope wanachoongopa kinachowakimbiza musikumbali kiwakimbize wanachohofia kisiwaofishe wanachoongopa kisiwaongopeshe mbali nyinyi mumtangaze na kutakaza hofu yake yeye awe kicho chenu awe ti utisho wenu Mungu ndiye anapaswa kuwa hofu lako na tisho lako lakini bili nasema ya kwamba msiongope wanachoongopa na msiofishwe na kinachowaofisha mbali hofu yenu iwe juu ya Mungu Bwana Yesu apewe sifa siraa ya ine ni kutoongopa ni kuwa na ujasiri ni kuwa na confidence kataa woga katika maisha yako wakati unapoingiwa na woga woga huwa unaua imani woga unasambaratisha confidence yako majira kama haya ni majira ya kumwamini Mungu ni majira ya kumtazama Bwana na kutafuta uzo wake na silaha hizi ukisibeba katika maisha yako hiyo itakuwa ni silaha za kukukinga na za kutumia kutetea mipaka ya afya yako ninatangaza katika maisha yako katika jina la Yesu Kristo ya kwamba kila silaha iliyoinuka every weapon formed against your health haina nguvu haina uwezo haina mamlaka haina ushindi katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu alia hai ninatangaza katika maisha yako haya ni majira ya afya jema huu ni wakati wa kupigania afya zetu unasimama unasema ya kwamba mimi sitakufa nitaishi nitangaze ukuu wa Bwana unasimama unasema ya kwamba mangonjwa hayana njia ya kuingia maishani mwangu mangonjwa haina mlango wa kuingia katika jamii yangu na mchana wa leo na wakati huu ni na kutenganisha na kila silaha ya magonjwa na maradhi katika jina la Yesu Kristo Yesu alipofahamishwa ya kwamba Lazaro ni mgonjwa ako karibu kufa Yesu alisema hapana hiyo mgonjwa sio ya kumuua kwa nini magonjwa yaliwekewa mipaka ikaambiwa ya kwamba mtu huyu miaka yake ni thamanini miaka yake ni tisaini kwa hivyo wewe unapokuja akiwa na miaka 40 soma vibao ujue mipaka ya maisha yake na afya yake diposa Daudi anamwambia Mungu katika Saburi tisaini msari wa 12 eh hey, bwana nifundishe kuhesabu mambakio ya miaka yangu na siku zangu kwa sababu gani Mungu alipoumba mwanadamu alikuumba hakajua wewe utakuwa utaishi miaka hamsini Mwingine akaambiwa miaka yake ni mia mwingine akaambiwa ni 120, mwingine akaambiwa yake ni sabini Kwa hivyo mangonjwa yanapaswa yajue hiyo mipaka. Mangonjwa yanapaswa kujua ya kwamba Mungu aliwekea fulani mipaka, miaka yake ni sabini miaka yake ni 90, miaka yake ni 120. Niko hapa kutangaza juu ya maisha yako. Mangonjwa yote yaliyo jihani kukuelekea, yote ikasom ikapata vibao, sinaosema ya kwamba miaka yako bado katika jina la Yesu Kristo ninatangaza urefu wa maisha yako ninatangaza ushindi wa jamii yako ninatangaza baraka katika maisha yako watu wengi wakizikia mambo ya lockdowns katika mataifa watu wanasema he jamani sasa hata tutauliwa na corona sasa tutauliwa na jaa usitamuke maneno ya aina hiyo unajitambiria kifo ukisikia maneno ya aina hiyo sema not me not so Sema kama Yakobo 
wakati bibi wa Yakobo aliita mtoto wake jina ya uchungu na maafa alisema not so he shall be benjamin tunapaswa kutamuka mambo ya uzima wakati Yohana aliposaliwa baba yake saa hiyo alikuwa bubu angeweza kusikia wala kuongea watu wa jamii wote walikuja na wakasema huyu mtoto ataitwa Zekaria mama yake akasema hapana hataitwa kama baba yake ataitwa Yohana lazima kuwe na watu wa kukanusha vitu praise the lord ni vyema ukisikia watu wakiongea vitu ambavyo ni kinyume na maandiko kinyume na maisha yako kanusha Elizabeth alikanusha alisema my son will not be called like his father my son will be called John wakamuuliza ni nani katika ukoo huu ni nani katika nyumba yetu anaitwa hivyo akawaambia ya kwamba bwana halinena akasema yeye hataitwa Yohana na sio Zakaria wakasema waka, waka wacha tu confirm kutoka kwa baba wakaandika kakaratazi akapewa aandike jina akaandika Yohana jina la bwana libarikiwe ninatangaza kutoka siku ya leo Auta kumbali kile watu wanasema Auta ingia kwa misemo kwa sababu watu wameingia kataa kuingia ngali kwa sababu imejaa kataa kuingia ngali kwa sababu iko na watu ingia ile gari inaenda kule unaenda jina la bwana libarikiwe ninatangaza katika maisha yangu mimi nitaishi nitashinda magonjwa na maradhi nitapita juu ya kila disease virus yoyote haina nguvu na uweza juu ya maisha yangu na hivyo hivyo linanena katika maisha yako uweza nguvu neema na kimbali katika maisha yako kinyume na kazi zote za giza katika jina la Yesu Kristo mangonjwa ya kizazi hiki haitakuweza bora utumie silaha hizi hii ambayo nimekupatia ambayo ni toba kutubu kukili kuomba na kutoongopa itakusaidia na inaweza kuongezea ya tano ambayo ni faith the bible says without faith you cannot please god wherever you are i want you to team up with me i want to pray for you god to preserve you god to put a demarcation god to put a boundary beacons over your life beacons over your health and demons and forces of darkness shall have no power over you over your children over your family over your parents in jesus mighty name let's pray heavenly father my god and my father i pray over your people that they will overcome they will win the battle they will be secure they will be covered in the mighty name of the living god i shock you into the precious blood of the lamb of god the blood that speaks better things than the blood of abel i shock you into that blood from today be fully covered be fully covered with your family in the mighty name of jesus no matter what comes I declare you safe no matter whether you have money or not no matter there will be clock there will be lockdowns or never I declare safety in your life by all means I declare you are secure prophetically I secure you in the name of Jesus by the precious blood of the lamb of God we do pray and believe somebody say amen May God bless you, enjoy your days and your time. Shalom.